Hello, boys and girls. My name is Hotsus T. In the last river guide, we had a look at the first part of the standard section of the Vorderrhein from Ilans to Versam. Now it's time for the second half from Versam to Reichenau. The put in for this section is at the put out of the upper stretch near the Versam station, somewhere on the river bank. The put out is at the confluence with the Hinterrhein or shortly above on the right side. Of course, this part can be combined with the section from Elans into a whole day trip. The difficulties on here are lesser than further up, while the landscape is at least as beautiful. Right from the start, there are some beautiful eddies to warm up. After some meters, the river makes an S-band, which constantly changes based on water level and flow. Some lines can become quite tricky from one run to the next. Don't miss the large eddy under the rock wall in the first band or the bathtub in the second one, which can be quite turbulent to get in and out. Now there is a bit of time to enjoy the landscape before the difficulties rise when the river turns left again. Stones from the left can change this stretch down to the train bridge just as much as different water levels. The whole section offers many opportunities to improve one's technique and a great many play spots. The section after the bridge, however, was where I learned to undercut. When the creek from the Safian Valley enters from the right, the highlights in the landscape switch sides to the right. High up in the eroded rocks, you might see the narrow street which connects the exit in Reichenau with the village Versam. When water from the hydro plant on the left is added, you are at another section that constantly changes. Years back you could find the great hole of Treen that enabled you to do front handles even with 3 meter 80 long boats, with the right water level. After the pedestrian bridge, the station of Treen is on the left shore. One possibility to end the trip and take a train ride back to Versam. When the Vorderrhein takes a right turn, you can see a sign up on the right rock wall indicating the water levels of the two big floods in the last century. The level we have here is around 50 cubic meters, which is an excellent one for this early in the year. Floods that occur on a yearly basis bring the level up to about 200 cubic meters. When this trip nears to the end, there is still one more eddy worth mentioning, the barf mill. It is easy to get in, but at higher water level it is rotating fast and can be difficult to get out again into the main flow. After the train bridge, the exit nears on the right shore. If you are not yet tired, you might find some more fun spots along the left shore. Additional infos can be found below in the description. If you enjoyed this video, consider leaving a like and subscribe in order to not miss any future videos. 
I'm Hot and wish you a pleasant day.